You're the one that I want. You are the one I want. Ooh, 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 <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name's Kate. And I'm Alex. And we are back trying an American Easter box. Yeah, I'm really excited because it's interesting to see what people bring out for yeah. Easter. I it? love that companies bring out different things for Easter and Christmas, even if they're the same item, but a different shape. Yeah. I just love it so much. Well, sometimes they're better, like the Twix one. I love a Twix bar. Yeah. But they have like this chunkier one they do for Easter and it's flat and chunky. It's just so good. Yeah. and our British Easter box is yeah. one of my favorites that we do every year. Sorry if you missed out this year. We'll leave a link down below to our newsletter. We always do send out emails yeah. uh, letting you know about Christmas, Easter boxes that are coming. So yeah. maybe you can sign up and you won't miss out. But this box is from the lovely Stella again. And this looks super exciting. Shall we just crack into yeah, it? Yeah, let's get into okay, it. Okay, so hi, Kate and Alex. Easter is in the air as the stalls have many new sweet treats. Not all the items are Easter themed, but most are new items and a few are new to me. Since I have not tried all the items, I hope I chose well. One of the new items is gluten-free Oreos. Wow, I feel like that's a really big deal for so yeah. many out there. Hope you enjoy the items. Best wishes, Stella. Stella. No, this is really exciting. Yeah, really cool. And I don't know if she realized we tried these, but we've got some of our favorites here. Um, you absolutely love that Reese's Take yeah. 5. And your, the outrageous That's bar. your favorite bar together, all together. White chocolate M&Ms, my Sour Patch watermelon. Thank you so much for Thanks, all of Stella. that. My only disappointment with Easter is that there's no savory brands who make crisps, yeah. who've made any Easter oh, effort. one time Cheetos did, but they weren't savory. They were really? like toffee. Do you remember? Like, why does it always have to be sweet? It'd be cool if well, there was a- Because you do Easter egg hunts and things like that. Yeah, I would love an Easter egg hunt where I found a packet of crisps. <laughs> like, that would be so good. <laughs> or you could make one. I'll make Imagine. one, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'll come up with my own brand of crisps purely for Easter. Very so. And they'll all be like little bunny shaped. Oh, that'd be really yeah. cute. Let us know down below, do you celebrate Easter or do you just eat the chocolate? Yeah. <laughs> and how do you celebrate? Growing up, we always had an Easter egg hunt. And we'd have to find these little eggs. Yeah. And I did one last year for you guys. Yeah, you did. So didn't this you? year. But it was with a twist. So be this year. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Carry on, I sorry. don't know, but I am. <laughs> Should we start with what I think is very popular at Easter? Yeah. And that is the jelly beans. Now, Stacey Howell was actually the first person to ever send us these jelly mm. beans. Apparently, they only really come out at Easter, although I'm sure some shops probably yeah. kind of have them throughout, but they're a lot harder to get. But that's so funny. What's Eastery about jelly beans or why? Because they're obviously not actually Easter, are they? No. But why do they come out at but Easter? But they do seem to be very popular, but so if you, you can't think get about these them, any other time. I believe you can't. It's pretty much Easter. That's so weird. And jelly beans is a really big thing, but I think people said, because they're like beans, they're like little they're like egg, eggs. egg shape. But this time we've got duos, and I can't remember if we tried them. So I'm super excited about this. So these are two flavors in one. I think we have tried these, but it's been a very long time. And this is one flavor in one. I'm so glad we've got bags of jelly beans. They're the best. These just remind me of those like little wind up yeah. Machines in hotels. Also, in I've said this before, but my mm. favorite sweet growing up was something called Juicers. And I found out not so long ago, I think the last time we mm. tried them, that the brand of those juicers were Starburst. And they are these, but they stopped selling uh, them here. Cherry, orange, strawberry, lemon, green apple, and grape. Good flavor. Mm. They're just amazing. They are really good jelly beans, aren't they? And these the flavors one in are... There is amazing. I tried to read, but it's foreign. Grape Aid, Tropical Cherry Splash, Rasin Watermelon, Strawberry, Peach a Palooza, and Banana Berry Blast. I love that you think that was written in a what? foreign language. Let me see. You're having a funny day today. <laughs> <laughs> I literally thought, well, maybe like Canada, there's French. Oh my word, I literally read that. I was like, oh, I can't read that. <laughs> Let me show them. Peach a Palooza. Look, I'm sorry, Palooza. You're a Palooza. And it said Aid. <laughs> Oh yeah, aid. Not very These English word, are is it? banana berry blast. Those Starburst jelly beans are a ten out of ten. They are really good, aren't they? I'm gonna save judgment till after I've had these. I would love the rasin watermelon. Do you reckon that's gonna be green? Maybe. I wanna try the banana. Mm. It's quite a murky yellow. Hmm. Mm. What did you have? This one. 
No, the um, the orange mm. one. Oh my word, that red one. The orange one's so good. The red one is. Yeah. Pink or red? Red. Ooh, Watermelon? Yeah. Mm. These have actually got like a crunchier shell. Yeah, it's like you just dive into a mm. pool of... Mm, Different water. texture to that. Mm. Delicious. Oh, they are amazing. Mm. Yeah, like you say, say, it's like there's more of a shell and then it's more like a jelly bean inside, isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. In some ways, I do love the original, but I love the combination. I think the these combination. flavors are better, yeah. Yeah. I would love if they did the not the duos individually. Yeah. So like the watermelon mm. on its own. Or oh, excellent. That would be so good. 10 out of 10. Fabulous start. Now, these aren't Easter, but as we're on sweets, please, can we try these? Yes. And they are banana high chews. Banana flavoured. I forget that they come in packets like this because we tried like yeah. a big bag and they were great. And oh my word. I think high chew have one of the nicest textures in a sweet. And I finished them off so quickly because they were just so good. I'm interested to see like what their banana will be yeah. like. Not often you get a banana sweet. I'm making a mental note that next time I go to America, I need to get high chew. Is it chewing gum? No. It's just such a nice texture. It's really chewy, but... It almost has a like, chew of chewing gum. Mm, I can't explain it, but when you look at a high chew, there's like a white outside. Mm. Yeah, I wonder if that's what makes it really chewy, is like the outside layer is like is more gummy. Like, and the inside softer. And it says here, immensely fruity, immensely chewy, but it's not chewy like now and later. Oh yeah. It's not like one of those where it's like, oh, you have to suck it for yeah. a bit. It just carries on chewing mm. so much. That's what it, I mean. It's like chewing gum that you yeah. can keep chewing, but then at a point it kind of softens out goes. and then you can eat it. Yeah, oh, it's so nice. Mm. I would say my favorite high chew is the grape one. Right, what would you like to go for? Um, what's that yellow thing hiding behind the M&Ms? This is actually a Nesquik wafer. Well, that's cool, should we try that? Yeah, let's go for it, Elle. I'm excited about this because it's a Reese's Pieces egg, but there's mm. stuff in the middle. Shake and break. In the middle. We like a bit of less quick, don't we? Mm. I wonder if this is their only flavour they do, or if they have like cool if they did strawberry. Strawberry and the what's the other one they do? Vanilla. Hmm, that's nice. Mm. But it's almost like an ice cream cone wafer. Mm. Oh yeah. Not like the normal wafer. And like that McDonald's cone. Hmm. I know technically that is still wafer, but mm. tastes quite different from like those Prince ones. Well, Magic Kit Kat. Mm. I had a McFlurry the other day for like the first time in. Kept that quiet. Like years. It was so good. But when I was in Tenerife, yeah. what you can do, oh, they had some amazing McFlurries. And I don't usually get a McDonald's when I'm on holiday, mm. but I was with friends and they all said yeah. McDonald's abroad. Yeah. Like ice creams are really yeah. good. So you went to the counter and you can customize more sauce really? and more toppings. So I got double the Dolce caramel. Um, the I wonder if you can now on the machine. Well, I tried to do that the other you day, can't. but you couldn't. Oh, yeah. What would you like to do next? What are those M&Ms? we do the M&Ms? Yes. Yeah. These are really interesting. And don't you think that's so beautiful? Oh, yeah. Key lime pie, that's white chocolate. Flavor. She's fancy. She's feeling herself, isn't she? Now I think these can be either really good or, or look at the good. color or not good. I think it's good that they've mixed with white chocolate yeah. though, because I think some some fruity flavors need to be with the white chocolate. What do you think then? What's the what's the crack? Wow. Mm. Wow. It really does have a flavor of mm. fresh lime. Yeah, and I don't hate it because I'm not, we don't really have key lime pie here. So whenever we have that, flavor it's always a bit odd and i think in sweets like this a lot of the time it's very sickly sweet mm. but they've i think they've actually done this really it well it tastes like zingy yeah it tastes like i've just had it does taste like a pie. like a bite of pie mm. i actually tried proper key lime pie when i went to aruba it was amazing and it really is different yeah like when you have key lime oh they're actually really good really fresh fruity and zesty mm. And you know, we fresh, fruity, fruity zesty. Garnier. We've tried a few flavors now of the M and M's being a bit out there. Oh yeah. I think they're one of the best flavors because mm. we've tried like yeah. a Thai curry or something. Yeah, and we've tried like the English toffee. Yeah, much better than that. Um, the Not, coconut one. Oh yeah. Um, Not better than the brownie one though. They no, look great. I think the fudge brownie ones mm. are some of my favorite. Yeah. They, like you say, really up there with the limited like yeah. edition runs. 
really nice. And could you taste that it was white chocolate or not really? I could, but it works really well yeah. with the lime. I'm really excited to try the gluten-free Oreos. Yeah, let's do it. I really want to know if they taste different. We've also got a family size pack here of chocolate hazelnut Oreos. So these are double stuff gluten-free Oreos. Oh, I like that they've done double stuff. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? And I like that it's a white packet. Yeah, it's really cool. And I guess it's going to really stand out on the and shelf. And I suppose they have to make sure it really is clear. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. They look great. Look how stuffed they are. These look perfect, actually, don't they? Yeah. I'm going to go for that bad boy there. They that's, look that's, pretty much the same. They're oh, so look. stuffed. It says gluten free. Oh, actually. So I'm that's not. good. If you were kind of at a party, but you didn't want the packaging, yeah. you could then have a tray. Now they look the same, but are they slightly lighter in color? I was wondering if they're it looks darker. Like, really? Is it me? Am I just trying to find differences now? Do you think the cream looks whiter? Yeah, but I don't think the cream has anything to do with it. Okay, let's go. Mm. That's fantastic. I can't taste any difference. Neither can I. Which is amazing. Go, go Wario. Mm. I can't they, taste any difference. They are so good, mm. aren't they? I wonder if you did side by side, if you would notice any difference. Mm. I did think the biscuit was the slightly crunchier. The biscuit feels crunchier. I don't think that's a problem. I actually really like that. It is more of a drier biscuit. Mm. But if you're someone who likes to dip with milk. But maybe that's that why they've done well. double stuffed mm. to make up for that. Mm -hmm. So if you're gluten free and you've always wanted to try Oreos, give these a go. They're amazing. I can't tell any difference. So now we'll try the hazelnut chocolate. Do you want to get one back out? I might literally try a biscuit next to each other. Seems crisper. Those seem crisp. Look how flat that is. Hmm. Seems slightly smaller. Yeah, see, that's like slightly shinier. Mm, that's much more matte. matte, isn't it? Can I, can you pull me off one of those? Yeah. God, look how scientific you're getting. It does look yeah. different. Is that, yeah, it is lighter, you're mm -hmm. right. It's much lighter. And that's more compressed, that's more. Hmm. Yummy. Literally the same. These look great. What do you think to that? Really bizarre. It tastes weird, doesn't it? That's not hazelnut. I think it is, but it just isn't working for me anyway. It's got a strange aftertaste. So yeah, I they much prefer- They should have teamed with Nutella. Yeah, or someone like that. I much prefer the chocolate marshmallow ones we tried recently. Mm. That's a shame. I thought they were going to be really yeah, good. Yeah, I well, especially as you love Nutella, I mm. really thought you were going to love them. I'm going team gluten-free Oreo. I think I prefer the gluten-free ones. The fact that they're gluten-free and taste exactly the same is amazing. Yeah. Well done, Oreo. Yeah, good job. Here we go. So we've got Harry Bow Golden Bear Sour. And we've got Peep Sour Watermelon, which we did actually try last mm. year. So many of you actually sent us these. Yeah. Uh, so they must be really popular at Easter. Um, so we'll give them a go. So in here we've got pineapple, lemon, raspberry, orange, and strawberry. What? The green one, strawberry? Yeah. That's interesting. I'll go for a green and a, I really want one of these like, oh, there you go. Yeah, I pineapple. love the white ones, the clear ones. Mm. How sour are they? Not very. Mm, not sour at all. Mm. Well, mm, little right. tang. Oh, the pinks are raspberry. Mm. So there's no cherry in there. Mm. Not very sour, which is nice. Mm. Oh, it's sour enough. Mm. But not making you like, oh. It kind of gets you in the back. Some lovely flavors. Yeah. Haribo though is always so much chewier than I expect it to be. Yeah, it really is quite chewy. And I think it? since trying the Albanese, how soft that is. Yeah. I'd much prefer the Albanese bears to the yeah. Haribo ones. And the worms that Stella and Vicky sent us mm. in their first box mm. over those. That is so interesting. Mm. <gasps> and sour. Why do they make it sour? I don't know, because it's not it's almost not like the sweet flavour of watermelon. It's almost like you get in the more, rind. Though. You get in the rind. Do you know what I mean? There's almost like a minty flavour. Like when you mm. like breathe forward. Oh. Yeah. Do you know what? I think I prefer them more this time though than last mm. time. But the best time to eat peeps, in my opinion, is once they've sat out for a little while. Oh, they are stale. nice like this, but stale peeps are the best. And so many of you agree. Let us know how you enjoy your peeps. How many peeps can you fit in your mouth in one go? We were playing fluff, fluffy bunny with those. Yeah, the 
chubby bunny chubby challenge. bunny what am i saying Chub- fluffy, fluffy bunny. bunny fluffy bunny yeah fluffy because bunny. they're quite long so it'd yeah. be like you wouldn't really be able to get long. many in right now we've got a little treat haven't we what mm. do you want to do next don't know it's hard i like both of these chocolate brands lynn and Gil- ghirardelli i and love the these other bags cool, so they? like spring and easter so these aren't easter specific yeah but i do feel like these are new possibly yeah. for easter like the spring yeah. bags and the colors are yeah lovely. they're not specifically for easter but they are like that season aren't they yeah they feel very seasonal these are limited edition neapolitan those sound good so i'm guessing it's like chocolate strawberry uh, and vanilla strawberry and vanilla and these are milk with white milk chocolate truffle oh these are so pretty milk with white milk chocolate truffles <laughs> Do you know what these would be really good for? What? Earrings. <laughs> these would be really good for Easter egg hunts, I think. Yeah. They're so pretty. As long as you don't live somewhere hot, because yeah. they melt so easily, don't they? Oh, right. So on the outside, we've got like white chocolate, but it's kind of pinky from the strawberry. And you can see little freeze-dried strawberry breads. Yeah. Bread. And on the outside here, you've got milk chocolate with a white chocolate you know, melt in the middle. And this is delicious. white and milk in the middle. It really does melt in your mouth. Ooh, look at that. That Neapolitan one is delicious. It's just right for me. Because as I've said before, I'm not big on fruity chocolate, but there's just enough strawberry with chocolate with vanilla. It's also They're a really amazing. nice strawberry. Really nice strawberry. Mm. Which one would you put top? I think I'm going to have to go with the Neapolitan. Mm. This was delicious and decadent. Every time you eat one of these, no matter how many times you've had them before, it always seems exciting and decadent. Mm-hmm. They are decadent. It's like a completely different experience from any other chocolate. They're so nice. They are master chocolate. Okay, teams. I think I'm giving them both 10 out of 10. Yeah, definitely. Right, we're gonna really need to cleanse the palate before we have Ghirardelli because I feel like if you try chocolate too yeah. close to each other, I think you can really- Let me go chew on some coffee beans. Well, should we have a banana whipped egg for yeah. in between that? I played that on my clarinet. Did you? Interesting fact, if you didn't know, I played the clarinet when I was younger and I passed my grade two exam with a broken finger. Oh, well done. It's funny, even though I knew that, clarinet is not an instrument (laughs) I picture you playing. (laughs) Why, I'm loud. (laughs) Yeah, but then I'd feel like you'd play a bassoon or something much louder than a clarinet. (laughs) What, because I'm a bassoon? Or the bagpipes. <laughs> I wanted to play the bagpipes. I found my clarinet re- uh, like last year. Do you remember? Mm. Do you play anything? I, I tried to, but it's like. <gasps> you probably need to wet your reed. I know. Yeah, like... You need to get your tombra back. Isn't that what it's <laughs> called? A tombra? Like the bre- the um, uh, you know the way you like. Oh, uh, hold the mouthpiece yeah. in there. Oh, I didn't. Have to like breathe through it. No, oh, I didn't know. I've never played the clarinet. You can do it. I played the drums. I played the drums. And thank goodness. They bought these kind of covers. Rubber pads. So then yeah. it wasn't as loud. Yeah. But our Although poor you, neighbors. We didn't have any for the cymbals, and they're the loudest no. bit. Our poor neighbors, when it was practicing our music, <laughs> like you've got me and the flipping clarinet, Holly and the blue, and then boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, at least it wasn't a saxophone. Yeah. Could you imagine living in a block of flats and someone is playing the saxophone? No, the worst thing is, I think, violin. Oh, yeah. A violin you get that played wrong. well is amazing. Yep. A violin played Play poorly best. is one of the most awful sounds you'll ever hear. <laughs> Let us know if you have kids, have they come to you wanting to play an instrument and you've literally not allowed them because of your ears? Yeah. <laughs> I'm surprised this one has survived. This one hasn't, but it's still edible. Hey, it's actually the egg. It's an egg. And it's dark chocolate. Mm. Mm. It's been a long time. Mm since we've had a Russell Stover. Yeah. It's not one of my favorite flavors of theirs, but it is good, isn't it? Mm. Like why banana? Well, they have loads of fruits, mm. fruit flavors, don't they, remember? The texture in the middle is just fabulous, mm. isn't it? And I do like the um, nice crispy chocolate shell. It's really crispy mm. and crunchy, and it's not bitter. And it's not too bitter at all, mm. is it? Come, we're really nearing the end here. Yeah, we are. Do you want to end on Ghirardelli? Of this Easter bonanza. Mm. Do you want to do these little yeah, things? Yeah, let's do them. So you've got a nice little nutty treat for you mm. here. Snickers peanut brownie. Peanut brownie. And we've got some Reese's eggs, which the first time we ever filmed an Easter box, we couldn't get much um, Reese's here. Yeah. But now we get this one, but I don't believe we get that one. 
You know the Snickers? Yeah. The ones that you like? We the can crisp. now get them in the UK. Well, no, crisp as well as... Um, Peanut mm. butter ones, can you? But they're in um, Tesco's in these really cool bags. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, because we've had the peanut butter version of this. We've had the almond butter. We've the had cashew, the maple one. Maple. And we've had like a crispy one, haven't we? But we've, but we've never, never had, had a that. peanut brownie. That sounds so good. Are you really excited mm. for that? Yeah, because I love brownie. Yeah. I love Snickers. That's really good because that's actually like brownie in there. Really? Sorry, I ate that whole one. You have that. <laughs> you love these little ones though, mm. don't you? I just love how they're individual. I think there's something so cool about that. So what is it? Peanut brownie. Peanut brownie. So it's a brownie with peanuts mm. in covered in chocolate. And instead of like some other brands where they do a brownie thing, it's not really brownie. That's really good. That's like good. a proper brownie, isn't it? Alex doesn't believe me, but even though I was never a massive peanut fan, I enjoyed Snickers. No, I know you do. I you keep did. Telling us. So actually, I'm really enjoying that. Oh, well, you keep that. No, no, I'm good. You have it. You, but you like Snickers. I do. So you should keep I that. do. I need to keep that. So is this one going to be filled with peanut butter, and that one's going to have pieces in? Yeah. Well, that's got a really cool pattern on. But there's something really cool about this wavy pattern. Ah. Wavy. Your chocolate looks so different to mine. Yeah. This is says shake and break. Mm. Oh wow! Look, there's really big bits in there. Wow. You're in heaven. All right, show you. It's like a peanut butter cup. Yeah, the chocolate on the outside is so chunky and you've got a massive lump of peanut butter in the middle. Is this Hershey's? Yeah. Does the outside chocolate taste like Hershey's? Yeah. This doesn't. It does look different though, doesn't it? Mm. God, that is indulgent. So indulgent. I wonder if that's the most calorific Easter egg out there. Mm. A because cream egg peanut. probably comes close. Mm. I'm not going to say it because people, someone gets upset, but <laughs> that tastes like Hershey's. I won't say any more than that. And this doesn't. That's so bizarre that that does and that doesn't. Mm. That is very good. This is so good. Really good. If you're considering buying one of mm. these, I would definitely get that one. Get this one, not that one. Yeah. Which is a shame because the pieces are actually my favourite of uh, a Reese's. Yeah, but I don't understand. Why can't it be that chocolate on the outside of that? Also, do they do those ones with pieces in the peanut butter? Now that would be good. Peanut butter with pieces in as well. Yeah. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Like in the cup where they get. Mm. Mm. What are you giving that? Would that would be amazing. The peanut butter one is a 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's so good. Just hands down, one of the best Easter eggs you can get. Okay, now I'm super excited for our final items in this box. They are brought to us by Ghirardelli. One of our favorite American chocolate companies. Now, a few of you actually Instagrammed us about these ones. Well, mainly me, because they know you don't like white chocolate. But I got a few of you messaging me saying about these white chocolate caramel Ghirardelli. And do you know what? I love white chocolate, but even I looked at that and thought, oh, is that going to be really sickly? Yeah. So I'm really excited and interesting to try these, but I don't think Ghirardelli's the type of brand where you sit and eat the whole box bag. No. So it's, it doesn't matter if they're rich and You have like a square or two. Yeah. Or it'd be cool to have two bags on the go yeah. and you have one of each. I just love these bags. They're so cool. And they've got a little pocket there. Experience luscious buttery caramel and our rich decadent white chocolate. And these are dark chocolate sea salt caramel bunnies. I love that they've done the bu as bunnies. Yeah. That's so sweet. Which sounds like the perfect filling for me. That yeah. sounds like the perfect filling for you. Yeah. This is perfect filling for me. They're cute and teeny. They're sweet, aren't they? There's a little bunny shape. And it's come out really well. I'm guessing, but you'll have to correct me. Do Ghirardelli come out with um, like Easter eggs mm. that you can get? I know they come out with bunnies because Matt bought me one back when he oh, went to yeah. San Francisco, but do they do eggs like that? I don't know. I don't know, you have to let us know. Look, you can see the caramel. You can like, see it in there. That's like, did you know um, you can tell it's China if you can see your finger through it? Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Fine bone is that. Fine bone China. That good. Mm, mm. Mm. Wow. Mm. <laughs> I know a lot of people who would hate that white chocolate and count mm. the sickly sweet. It's so rich. It is and so sweet. rich, but it is nice. <laughs> that's about. I could probably have one bite, and that's me done. Mm. But it is enjoyable. That caramel. It's just so good, isn't it? Mm. From one end of the scale to the other. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. You can just tell how well that's made. It just crumbles, breaks, doesn't it? Cracks. Finish them off. Lovely dark chocolate. Oh, it's strong, isn't it? The, the chocolate. Mm. And the salty caramel just cuts through, doesn't mm. it? Mm. I think my ideal That's Ghirardelli rich. is milk chocolate with caramel. I think mine's that. And then I would go white and then I would go dark. These are absolutely amazing. And I think out of the two, these are my favourite. And these, for me, are absolutely amazing and my favourite out of the two of them. Well, that's worked out well then. Do you know what I was thinking? <laughs> we should sing. <laughs> the national anthem you or sing something. to the Ghirardelli. You're the one that I want. Okay. You're the one that I want. And both together. Ooh, ooh, ooh. ooh. <laughs> Wait. No, you're, the you're the one that I want. want. You're the one that I want. Ooh, ooh, ooh. 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 Ghirardelli. <laughs> <laughs> in my head it's planned out much better than that you're the one that I want you're the one that I want anyway no you're the you're the one that I want you, you are, are the that's one I want. what I was go, you go started on. with the chorus you're the one that I want you are the one I want ooh ooh ooh, 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 ooh Ghirardelli, Ghirardelli. <laughs> <laughs> slightly off time at the end yeah you <laughs> not me you, no you no, rushing in no you're too late it comes in quick so <laughs> I'll tell you what comes in quick. A five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten. ten. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's four moves. Get it together or I'm going to have to get someone else on. What comes in quick? A five, six, seven, eight, ten, ten. <laughs> oh, my new favourite. <laughs> That's it, because I get it wrong, so I go into you. Okay. <laughs> Not two videos in a row. <laughs> <laughs> How did we do <laughs> Oh, my cheeks are anyway. hurting. Anyway. I think I am going to keep out of this box Starburst jelly beans. Oh, rookie. <laughs> rookie error. Oh, dear. All over the kitchen. Don't there. you worry. They are Don't all going worry, to child. be eaten. I'm sure they will. Straight off the floor after yes. this. I think I'm going to have to go for these. And I'm going to have to go for these Ghirardelli yeah. bunnies. But out of all of this, I'm most impressed mm. with the Oreo gluten-free. Yeah, I think that's really excellent. Good. Oh, if it wasn't for lockdown, I could give them to my friend Frankie. Oh, yeah. Some to my friend. Not yeah. <laughs> my other favourite thing, actually, was oh, the Snickers yeah. peanut brownie. Yeah. That's delicious. Oh, Stella, once again, you have sent us an amazing box and we still got so many other goodies that are yeah. our favourites. So thank you so much. We really appreciate it. We will be sending Stella and Vicky a box. Uh, if anyone else would like to try some British candy, we'll leave a link down below. Yeah, and that's the best way for you guys to support this channel other than subscribing. We've got a whole host of British candy boxes on our website. Go check it out in the link below. And help get us to 400,000 subscribers. Yeah, we're getting so close. We're 365 now, I aren't know. No, it's amazing. Or anyway, well, by the time this goes out, it might be 366. Be or 70. Yeah, fine. If you help, <laughs> yeah, fine. we could jump if to 70. Yeah. Okay, anyway, we hope you guys enjoyed watching that and we'll see you soon. Bye, guys. See ya.